Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. We have a little bit of trouble, financial trouble, and I am actually willing to fix that today. So we are going to the command center and we're going to be playing a mission right away. I have the feeling that training day would give us a lot of money, but we would also give up on a lot of salvage. It really depends on what we are playing against. There's also Bright Inquisitor. All right. Shadow Strike is an assassination, which is actually quite interesting. But does it fix our monetary holes? I wouldn't say so, honestly. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to be playing Training Day. Let's see who we actually got here. I'm going in with all the salvage. Hoping that we can get something done. We are actually running a Hatchet Man with a piloting of two. Great. That is an Enfield. This is a good one. Ooh, five gunnery, five piloting. Really good. And a Griffin 2C. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I'm going to do that. Absolutely freaking lootly. We're gonna take our Maxime. The Bandit is fine. I think the Oracle is as well. We're just gonna go in like that and hope that we get something good out of this. I believe there will be three enemy lances attacking us. And I also didn't check who we are up against. So we will see about that. That's gonna be really interesting. But yeah, here we go. By the way, for all of you who haven't followed me on Instagram yet and who are curious about my D&D stuff, I just uploaded... Um, you know, the, the pictures of the last session, my players were going up against an Otiuk, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was really good. It was a pretty high challenge rating for a level 3 party, but they managed it quite well. One player almost died because it got snatched by the Otiuk's tentacles and then reeled in and munched on. But uh, yeah, it was, was a really cool session. If you want to see the pictures of it, check out my Instagram. The link is down below in the description since, again, you a lot of you are actually interested about that. So you can check that out as well. But uh, apart from that, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see what the commando can do that we built in the last session. I really want to bring that to the battlefield and hopefully we can do it today. That would be super duper cool because it has some pretty good weapon systems. I think we were putting two small X-Pulse lasers in it uh, and then some Streak 2, I believe. So it should be fairly accurate and uh, it's fairly fast as well. It has night vision and artemis 2 i believe or extra hit chance on the missiles so it doesn't have many weapons but it has some good ones and again i'm, I'm i really want to see that thing on the battlefield i want to see how it outperforms and then you know shoot some enemies with it but first of all we got to go into the battle and i think i actually have to take some valuables in this mission I was giving up on 400,000 C bills. We are down to 100,000, so we basically gave up on 300 net roundabout. Um, so we gotta get some stuff that is worth 300,000 C bills to make this pick of uh, items worth it. Let's see if we can get there. That's a little city. That's quite cool. Hello. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. We have to actually cross the city to get into our evac zone. We can actually drop right here. And you know what? Just in case, I want to drop on the other side of the battlefield and be somewhat safe. I think this is a good little cluster of trees. We'll take it. Let's go. We have Burger Time, Flapjacks, and Pontoon in the house. Our enemies are... I don't know. Nobody? Oh, that's interesting. I really want that hatchet man to be, my, to my, to be mine. This is such a cool mech. Uh, Enfield. Man, LBX, large laser, medium laser, small laser. That thing is so good. We put it on the high ground. And we found something, obviously. There they are. Uh, we got a bunch of tanks here. Yes. Problem is, um, hmm. What can I do for these you? guys are still in spawn protection. So, the next round is not gonna be a fun round for me. Let's get the Oracle in here. And I think... Oh, I cannot shoot because I'm not in active combat yet, obviously. Well, Fine. There. So yeah, let's get into it. Get all the people... Uh, all the people in there? What's going on here? Is this a dead drop at this position? Luckily, we can do careful maneuvers and get out of this. Confirmed. I love it. So, we have another lance coming down at this position. Now we are, in fact, in active combat. Awaiting orders. Let me see what I can get in terms of hit chance. This is it. They have no evasion. Okay then, let's go. So this is a tracked APC SRM. And I don't know if Battletech Advanced or Rogue Tech, or maybe both have it, but um, 
I think some of these vehicles carry cargo. And we should look out for cargo drops, because that will give us a lot of goodies. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that thing. But this is an APC, so an armored personnel carrier. Probably not really carrying any cargo. We have a hunter and another wheeled APC Mark II, which is a machine gun array. A uh, large laser of the Bulldog is luckily you. destroyed, so that's good. Where can I get my four evasion and my perfect hit chance? It's right here. Got it. Great. Speed, um, no and we're gonna shoot air burst. Actually, we should gonna shoot guided ammo. Should be fine. And down he goes. He does splash damage against the other guys. And we're gonna and follow up. But honestly, so far I don't see any good stuff. Let's get the Griffin in the fight. What was the ballistic again on the Bulldog medium tank? I forgot about it, man. Uh, I think we're gonna go for the Hunter next. That's a bit hot. Mm. Anyway, it's the best thing that we can do right now. I'm gonna drop one laser, maybe. There we go. All right. Good amount of damage. Orders. Very good amount of damage. Our hatchet man. Hatchet man can not really do much here, okay. so we'll just Going shoot whatever we got at the bulldog. It's the best target that we have. And yeah, the, the ballistic was in fact a machine gun. Receiving you. So nothing too crazy on that guy. Um, hmm. Going for a kill or doing more damage to the nastier target? Let's do more damage to the nastier target. That was a hundred damage and he ate it like that. What is it already? Wow. Just wow. I I think giving up on the small lasers is not good, so we're gonna I'll shoot at the bulldog. Again, taking that kill here. That's a thing. Good. Take we are that, making some bastard. great progress early on. I love it. Now, two tanks against my full lance. What are you doing, buddies? And the APC? Ah, that guy ate one of the shots that was directed to the hunter, right? Because he is so damaged on the front. I despise your, what is it, machine gun array? I think it is. And then the hunter. Let's keep track of his left side. Let's see where he is facing to after he moved. Here it comes. It's getting into my jamming zone. And he's really going for my bandit. Got it. But hey, I should have the initiative this round. And here comes the reinforcement. Alright. Show me what you got. Ready for orders. Ooh, Mr. Hatchet Man, what about you? I mean I could technically go for a death from above attack with a 12% hit chance. But I won't, because it makes no sense at all. Alright, um... Oh yeah, I want to shoot my stuff. How can I do it? Selecting it again? Now it's there again. Alright, so, um, attacking from the front. We have no real good chance to go in his side, so we're gonna do whatever we can. This is armor-piercing stuff. That's quite interesting. That is actually quite interesting against tanks. And we should probably shoot the acid missiles as the first things. Here we go. Giving them everything I've got. Did we get him? Nope. We got the track propulsion destroyed. So we need some follow-up. Uh, Griffin has a kick attack 50% and we can shoot everything after that. I like that. Uh, let's do it. Stomp the tank. Oh, uh, we got him. Really nice. Yeah, that's a way to deal with the tank. And then just for good measure... Everything on top of it. Nice. That's a kill. Do we have Watch visuals on these guys on top of the hill already? It's a bandit. Awaiting orders. Like, just a bandit? Ah, uh, this doesn't... Wait, what? I cannot move further from this position? So I maneuvered myself into a pretty awkward spot. That's why the hatchet man could also not attack. Interesting. Alright, let's throttle. see if we can get the bandit down with our long-range missiles at the very least. And the streaks. Alright. Technically, we could go now. But I don't see any good salvage. And I, I honestly not see not only a bad salvage, but very little salvage. So I really want to keep going. 
on you, Commander. All right, Mr. Rafer, let's go into this. Actually, let them come close. Holding action, Commander. There's more than a bandit, is there? There has to be. And lucky for us, these guys are... Yeah, yeah. Uh, these guys are just maneuvering. They're not doing anything this round. I'll wait here for now. Turn six is the bandit now. He's running away. What do you want? That coward. Let's roll. All right. Here they are. They have another one. Okay. Uh, let's go vigilance and be done with it. Cool. So, what now we have vision again and now we can bring in Rafa. Here we go. Going for this bandit. I'm gonna shoot guided ammo. Time to die. Tiny bits of numbers here. Tiny bits of damage. And the Enfield is also moving closer. No shooting, just running. All of my training dudes have just direct weapons, right? Yes. Yes. Alright. Let's roll. So, fire at the bandit. Getting some stray shots. Even the shots that missed actually connected to something. That's great. Who's that? An arty cheetah. Oh. I mean, now we are talking. Like, seriously. That is a mech that I want to get. Also, this griffin is crazy when it comes to jump potential. Look at this. That is a mobility radius. Do I want to go on the high ground, shooting the large laser at, like, nowhere? Nah, I'm gonna wait. Maybe there's a better opportunity to shoot anything later. Let them come. I'm not in a rush. Copy that. So here's the cheetah. It's moving slightly forward. He's going for my oracle. Huh. The good thing is I got the active probe. I'm gonna use the sensor ping this round. I just need to reserve until turn eight. And then I think we'll go direct for the directly for the cheetah. Ready for orders. So this is as far as we get. We got line aside, but we also got the spy set ping. Let's do it. These guys are kind of irrelevant right now. I want to see what I can do against the cheetah. Receiving you. So here we go. What about the end field? I know side is always bad, is it? Wait, there wasn't. No, there was a red line. It's a nine percent chance. It's getting better if we get closer. So I guess we all. Ah, man, moving up the hill or moving into a shooting position. It's a tough choice. I mean, this is again not really doing much. But I'll take the shots. Double miss, as predicted. We need to get closer in order to get things done. But maybe we can. Commander. Right. Affirmative. Zip. And shoot. No hit. Nothing. <laughs> Miss. I mean, when you look at this, this is where we are, this is where our enemies are. That's quite that's quite a distance that we have to cover. This is double bandit against my bandit. This is also a clan bandit. Insane. Both of them are. Waiting for orders. That's really good, man. Uh, sure, hatchet man. Jump and brace, that's the best what you can do. And now the other bandit. So currently I have only two tanks in an active fighting position. This is not a good matchup against two other tanks, clan tanks and an arctic cheetah. So we gotta get the reinforcements in and that's quite quickly. Therefore, I will just make a tactical maneuver by jumping around like crazy with the griffin. What is it already? Okay, here we go. And that hit chance. And a garbage. Let's roll. Actually, it's getting better as soon as we establish our own line of sight. That's great. Alpha strike engaged. And double heatsink destroyed. Structure exposed. Good hit there. I was hoping for some better criticals, maybe even on the engine already. It didn't happen though. Hmm. Is this a better than nothing move? I guess so. So I'm not gonna shoot the cheetah. But I can shoot the bandit. Target locked. We gotta work on those guys anyway, so might as well do it now. Turn 13. Ah, it's cheetah time. He has two options now. Either moving down here, avoiding my bandit, or going for the bandit, showing the other guys his back. What's he gonna do? Okay, he's going down. 
My Maxim is getting shredded. Fine. So is there anything else that yes, we can commander. reasonably do? Not with you guys. Engaging jump jet. Um waiting on you, Commander. I mean that will be a thing. I, I want to try to flank around you so you have nowhere to go anymore and I can always hit your back. Let's try this. Right, Commander. Oh, all right. Engine crit, shoulder destroyed. That is good to see. That's the first critical on the engine. I mean, technically, I don't want to destroy the engine. Let me think about that real quick again. Do I want to destroy the engine? I mean, obviously, I would pick a full Arctic Cheetah if it's offered, right? Because it's a it's an Omni-Mac. It's a clan Omni-Mac. It is easy to build and repair, and it will be instantly battle-ready. And that's the thing that I really do want. So, yes, I would like to get criticals on the engine. Other than that, I would be pretty happy to get a Clan XL engine as loot. Alright. We still got our Griffin that is also highly mobile that can go in yes, quite easily. Just like that. I want to say hi to you, buddy. I'm not going to shoot any of the lasers, though. We're going to save some heat for later. Affirmative. Cool. Next. What is it already? What is it already? I don't know. I'm going to move now. Uh. Do, I, do I smash attack you? Probably not. Not at 18%. Alright, it's going to be a move and shoot, I guess. Moving. Hello. Alpha strike engaged. All of this was armor damage. Standing by. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's that's where I wanna be. Copy that. That is exactly where I wanna be. Machine guns on, LRM's hot loaded, and here we go. Affirmative. Alright, so that is a full destruction. We don't really get anything out of this guy. It was component destruction. Hot it was not it. engine destruction. But hey, I hear ya. It's okay. Uh, it's three evasion. It's one evasion, so we found our next primary target. Oh, yes, we did. And we're gonna shoot guided ammo at that guy. Tell me what to shoot. Should have maybe shot acid. Commander. But our <laughs> our little thing it doesn't really do much. Understood. Let's be real. The Oracle is just for the satellite thing, the ECM, and, you know, a little bit of uh, effect fire. Enfield? Yeah, sure. Got it. Turn 9. It is our bandit coming close. My bandit is fine. I really like this fast backstabbing small laser array thing. It's really cool. It also has a lot of armor so it can sustain um, yeah, itself a little bit on the battlefield. Taking damage is not a concern. Maybe it will be. That's fine. Just a this is it. Man. This is a tank. Like, a literal tank. I'm here. Cool. Oh, you know what's also cool? I can kick this. Oh, hell yeah. Going for a back kick. I will shoot everything. I want to get him out here. Move order Just finishing the game so we can play another round, huh? <laughs> Interesting. We didn't even kill that. Huh. Keep an eye on my heat, Commander. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we also got the hatchet man who's gonna sprint up. Uh, and now the bandit, I think, lost his evasion completely. Uh, that means we can go in with armor piercing and all the good stuff. Here we go. Bit of stray fire, but you know what? It's not my mech. I'm under heavy fire. Sorry. What do you want? Uh, Apex. I uh, mean, he's damaged from the back, mostly. Actually, from the right side, the most. Hmm. That's a minimum distance going on for me. Sure. Moving to position. Uh, let's also get some vigilance so I can act before the other guy next round. Affirmative. Oh, th this is the next round. Never mind. Did I go to the other side? Wait a sec. This is where it's oriented, right? I wanted to attack the right side, and I did. All right, never mind. What do you want? <laughs> Everything is awesome. Okay, bandit number two. He is weak on the left side. I mean... I mean... All right, I'll do it like this. Moving. This seems weird, but you will see why I'm doing this. First of all, I want to try to take this out before turn nine. And then I want to take this out 
before turn 6. And I think I, I have the means to do so. Here we go. Uh, guided ammo. As well as, I would say, yep, burst. Didn't get the criticals that I wanted. Aw, oh, damn it. We have more, though. There's a lot more. Now, wanna be in his flank. Confirmed. Here we go. We're gonna shoot a cluster shot. And this cluster shot is gonna be the last one to be shot. Confirmed. We wanna open him up and then go for it. Sure. So, now that we got that guy out of the way, we can now try to destroy the other bandit before turn 6, which is sadly not happening. Alright, by the way, I wouldn't say no to an LRM-20 early on. A clan LRM-20. That would be such a power spy. You know me. You, you, you know that I love my LRM-20s, especially the clan ones. I mean, the 15s are better, but wouldn't say no to that. Cool, they're taking the bait. The bandit is attacked. And here we go. I'm here. Um. Mm-hmm. Roger. Yeah, that's fine. Fire in. Large laser connected. One streak connected. Standing by. And we can actually go in with the hatchet man. I mean, we got to. Let's do it. Here comes the hatchet man. Dealing 56 damage with a kick. This would be a bit more, but our hit chance would go down. And we can also shoot the lasers when we go kick. Let's do it. Gotcha. I'm gonna try to make it a bit more cinematic. Kicked him out of existence. Here we go. Nice. It's training day, guys. Can I have this, please? Please? No? Alright. Let's see what else we got. Again, these clan mechs and tanks and weapon systems, they are actually good. I wouldn't mind picking the tank parts either, probably. Because having bandits with uh, clan weaponry might be something to go for. Who's MVP? Maxime. Alright. So, I mean, that is three parts of an Arctic Cheetah Prime, but it's only three. It's a full bandit, though. A full clan bandit with an LRM-20. Crap. What can we take? What should we take? Clan Endosteel. Oh my god. Clan ECM. Clan Pharaoh. Sensor Clan. Not really that interesting. And then ammo. Mm-hmm. That's tough, man. That is so tough. I think I want to get that. It's a very good item early on. Getting a bit more defense on the board is really cool. And honestly, I think I'm going to take the bandit. This is a 50 tonner, which is fast and has an LRM-20 clan. Come on, I got to do that. And then we're going to get some other things as well. Also, quickly checking, is there any kind of cargo? You know, just to make sure. But the answer is no. And I think the LRM is also not an option. Thing is... We're gonna get most of the parts anyway, thanks to our high random salvage. Let's go. We get the three parts of the cheetah. Nice. Um, of course, the bandit. We got some APC parts. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not really interested in that. Pharaoh is good. Got some jumpies. Sure, we're gonna keep them. Omnis, yes, definitely. Clan sensors, yes, definitely. Uh, single heat sink cooling can go. And then we're gonna keep the ammo because we have no ammo yet, really, for. All of our weapon systems might as well keep that thing. So, yeah, good. That was that was great. I'm happy. I'm really happy having a new bandit on the battlefield. And I think I'm going to decommission one of our other tanks that are not really as good as bandits. Hmm. Don't know which yet, but maybe the striker. He runs, I think, an LRM-15 and two machine guns. And is a wield. I think it's a wield um, tank. Hover tanks are faster and more mobile, generate more evasion, so it's more safe to put people in there. Uh, yeah, but cool. We got a thing. Let's build the thing. There we go. Is that the clan one? Yeah, alright. Ta-da! And we can also build the wheeled APC. And since it doesn't cost us anything, really, I'm gonna do that, and I will sell it. And here we go. Not mech bay, not battle armor bay, vehicle base. So this APC is gonna go... Let me see. Yeah, vehicles can't be refitted. I just wanted to make sure, guys. Uh, yeah, sure. Store it. And again, the Slapenir. LRM-15. 
there's nothing interesting in there, right? It doesn't have any kind of ECM. It brings a turret, but I think the bandit also has the turret. Sure. We have SAM ammo. That is anti-air ammo. What? That's pretty good. And then a clan fire control system, clan sensors. I mean, we've got to take that. And then there's our galleon with the rockets and our J Edgar with a medium laser and two SRMs. Yeah, goodbye Edgar, I'd say. Gonna drop that guy. So this is gonna be our vehicle crew right now. So let's go to the store. See what we got. What can we get out of our little guys? I mean, it's 100,000 Seabills again. I'm gonna consider that our value. And we got better now. That's the most important thing. We just got better. Cool. So, let's get our people out of fatigue. And then we're gonna go in again. There we go. Commando four days. Clicked a little bit too late, but that's fine. Uh, and yeah, we will play another mission. I'm still here. I still wanna play. We're in the jungle. Half skull. Yeah, let's make a quick mission happen. <laughs> I know. The quickest mission ever. Uh, we're gonna do it like this. And we will take our bandit. And we're gonna take... The slate near, and we're gonna take our galley. Actually, it's gonna be the stinger. Is stinger better than galleon? I think it is. So you go here, Gaki. No wait, you are a mech warrior. You need a mech. You are a tank warrior. You can go tank. There we go. That's how we play it. And then slate near. Gonna choose you here. Let me see. Eric was also on the slave with three. Ariamaki was on the slave with four already. So we're gonna we're gonna go with this. Okie dokie. Can't wait to shoot some clan weapons at our enemies. It's gonna be really good. Okay. Oh, it also says. I didn't even check that. Did you see the little tooltip there? When you hover over the initiative, it tells you why the initiative is like that. That is pretty cool. I should probably check that out as well. And that's what I think is really good when developers are doing this, giving the players context of what is going on so they can make an elaborate decision. Obscuring everything, especially when it comes to game mechanics, makes it so that you have to figure it out yourself and it can get quite frustrating, especially when you got inconsistent results and you are trying one thing and next time it works completely different. And uh, yeah, again, I really like getting context, getting information of what is going on, why is it like it is, and uh, you know, seeing the numbers beforehand so you can actually say, yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Especially in a turn-based strategy game. We got a support lance, so much for our quick battle. They're right in my face here. Ooh. So here. And then... Oh, we can drop on the high ground? Can we? Not really. There's another lance here, so they are here and here. Uh, yep, I'll do it like this. Stupid jungle is gonna slow down our um, our hover tanks. That's gonna be a problem. But we're gonna take this road up here, take out these guys, and then go for the other guys later. Mosquitoes everywhere. All right. Let's go, Eric. Uh, sure. Let's sprint in. Calculating. Sure. Uh, whenever you can, go through these, uh, what are they, spore fields, because they give you higher defense Confirmed. for a turn. But staying Motion in a spore field gives you higher damage taken. Confirmed. On my way. And here we are, in active battle. Cyclone. Ultralight mass carrier. A crosscut. That's an industrial mech with a chainsaw, right? It is. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yes, Commander. Uh, did these guys move at all? Yes or no? I don't know if they are still in spawn protection or not. Mm, I need to find out. Let's move. Oh, they are not, so it was good to actually go here. On it. We have two turns to play around the barrage, by the way, so it's not Commander. a big deal if we are going in like that now. On the move. Move and shoot. Target locked. This little, little crosscut doesn't really do damage. Uh, sorry, doesn't really have armor. It's gonna take a lot of damage from the stuff Got that we are doing here. LRM 20. Here we go. We got like three hits, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, Darius, say your thing. 
This is the reinforcements, right? And this is an urban mech with a howitzer. Good to go. Crap. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. Uh, going for the same target or shooting the stuff that we have the highest hit chance on. That's the big question. Ultralight mass carrier. It's kind of easy to crack, actually. Nah, we'll go with, with the crosscut. Reducing incoming fire is so important. Also, heavy chainsaw destroyed. I think that was necessary. You, cool. Get up here. Keep shooting. Um, it's gonna be air burst. No when I hit the torso, not the legs, therefore no guided ammo. No criticals, sadly. Oh, this little guy, the Cyclone, is running a PPC of some kind. It might be a snub nose PPC, if I remember correctly. Right. Turn 12. Another Cyclone coming from the back. What do you want? Man, we need to get out of this stupid jungle. Moving. Turn 11. Oh, it's you. All right. Coming close. And oh, he's going for melee, which makes sense. But he lost his chainsaw, which is great. Nice. Wait, what? What did he do? Why was he doing it? He shot himself. All right. Ooh, that's what, that was the mass carrier. Also, lots of damage, lots of splash damage. We gotta take this guy out and then the urban mech in the back. Commander. Oh boy. Uh, we can go melee. And it would, enact, it would be an actual good melee attack. Oh, let's go. On my way. Let's do it, guys. Here it comes. Uh, puny attack, but we got lasers. Mm, unfortunate. That was really bad. I don't want to shoot this guy in the back. I want to shoot him more from the side. Huh. Let's destroy the Mars first. Because this guy is actually scary. And now he's almost down. Awaiting orders. Um, same thing here. We would be able to shoot almost everything. I'll take it. Rear armor it is. There we go. Tank is exploding. One. <laughs> I love when that happens. I hear you. Good. Good, good, good. I mean, a way to destroy the cross guard is waiting for it. The barrage is probably killing him, but I don't, I don't want him to move around with the barrage anymore. Damn it. Um. That's damn difficult, I gotta say. Could go down here. Where, where's the line? I saw a green line. There we go. I would be down there, though. 61%. See, the thing is, I want to be up on the high ground. It doesn't help. It doesn't really help. Alright, we're going to go down here. We're going to shoot everything we have. Let's see if that's doing anything. Affirmative. Maybe? I mean, he is stressed and he's open in the back now, but didn't it didn't really do much. Thing is, we got more. And we also got that artillery urban mech. Yes, boss. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. What do you want? I'll take Fang. He has to do it. Let's roll. Get in there, buddy. Kill him. Alpha strike engage. That is not a kill. All right, he lost Gonna all the weapons there. though. Huh, I'm very curious to see what he's doing now. And then again, these cross cards, they are actually dangerous. It's a regular PPC, so we can technically underrun the minimum distance. That's good to know. I don't know if both are the same variant or not, but I mean, it's an option. I don't know if I want to go down here again. Hmm. Hmm. Not pleased with the situation. Also, I do believe we have, like, no sensors. Yeah, it seems like it. 
Uh, alright, so 35%. I'll take this shot. Taking the shot. And that is nothing. Critical hit, Commander. <laughs> alright. The barrage is definitely gonna kill him now, right? I mean, he is like... Actually, he's like 40 structure left. Cyclone coming. Cyclone kicking. Bandit is hurting. He hit him! With a point blank PPC shot. Wow. And now this guy. Oh yeah, run away, buddy. What? I see. Alright, there is a white ballistic weapon. That is a handheld something. He might have a handheld mortar or a grenade or something like that. And he's still alive. Waiting for orders. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. Cool. Next thing is gonna be Mr. Urban Mac. We're gonna push this guy 100%. I want him to feel uncomfortable and I want this arm down because this is where the big ballistic Standing is sitting. By. Do I care about this guy? Hmm. We have a total of plus two to our sensor roll, so we should be able to hit things. But this guy has eight evasion. Sure, that's why. Uh huh. Six evasion. Oh, come on, dudes. I'm gonna reserve this. Maybe the cyclones are moving a bit. And I mean, a bit. Just a bit. By the way, my uh, push attack actually succeeded because he decided to go for a small laser attack against my stinger. That's great. The other guys can have a turn, there's nothing I can do anymore anyway, so let's go for it. We're gonna accept your damage. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I should take my bandit, because currently it doesn't have any evasion, but now that I think about it, it's not possible since the Cyclone is turn 11, I'm turn 7. What is it already? I guess I can do it. Let's roll. Bye. Alpha strike engaged. It's the only it's thing that time. Fang can do reasonably. Might Take as well. That, you bastard. Cool. Yeah. Have a turn, buddy. I have nothing. You got everything. What are you doing? You have the capacity to destroy my bandit. He's doing it. Oh my god, he's going for it. If the PPC hits, we are in trouble. Cool. Lucky for us, he just moved one space. That means he can have only like one or two eva- What? Why do you have six evasion charges? Like, what's wrong with you? Both of them. I call shenanigans. What can I do for you? So the obvious thing that we're gonna be doing is Got spice it. that Next thing. Speed, That's no the shooting. only thing that makes sense right now. Somehow we gotta get these guys. And yep. this is how. Yeah, bandit pulling back. One- Hundred percent. All right. Let's move it. Move. Shoot it. I'm on him. It is not much mission. damage. What about a melee attack? Ah oh, man, this is really bad. Thirty-seven percent on these streaks. At the very least, we got that for going for us. All right. To position. I'll hot load those. Firing a full salvo. This is where I'll take the risk of jamming. Fortunate. For the sake of getting things done. A little bit of backup here. Heading out. Alpha strike. We are not getting anywhere with that. Are the cyclones just so crazy that they I, I don't know. What what are they doing? Why are they so evasive, naturally? Also, is this the right thing to do? Going for a kick? Location we are also not generating any evasion with our stinger. Uh, but there was a good chance that we would kick him to the ground. Which didn't happen. Reporting negative damage. Oh. Yeah, we needed to connect the kick in order to get that. Oh, not good. A critical hit. I hear ya. Okay. Melee charge. Deals a good chunk of damage, but the hit chance is real garbage. Funny thing is, I believe it's our best bet. Let's go. Charge! No sweat. We gotta we gotta really rely on those numbers. Believe in it. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. 
What is it already? It's just nothing. I'm gonna wait. Maybe miraculously something is happening. I don't know. I'll take the 16. Although I should not take too many of them. It's just a stinger. It's a 20 toner. So the 16 actually hurt. Now what? Oh, he's going in. He's missing. That's nice. That means we're gonna go for the other cyclone now. He's now unevasive. Great. And for four. Let's go. Let's go up here. Forty-three percent. Wherever we go. Well. Uh, seventy-four now. All weapons. Go. So I believe we can take him out this round. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We have a head hit. Nice. That's what we need. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, that's another miss. Oh. <laughs> Still? Nothing. This. Holy crap. That was a bit too close for my taste. Yeah, let's try to trigger this knockdown if we can get it. On the move. Fire? Giving them Hello? Are you are you down? Please please be down. No? Oh. Aye, aye. Still got Apex. Um Yeah. Roger that. Just that? Fire. Copy that. So at the very least, we got the PPC. We also got an engine Wait. crit, and he's knocked. That means Fang can actually move in and do something now. Also, one yes. hell. Let it be known that there's a chance that Patrol. you're gonna get the Cyclone now, but, you know, Alpha I just wanna destroy. Here. We actually got him incapacitated. Funny. Take that, bastard. And now that I think about it, I mean, there are two Cyclones on the board. Commander. Hmm. Hmm. So, Irby, where's your side? It's your back. That's your front. Damn it, Irby. Do I kick you in the back? I guess I do. Let's go. No, I miss. Maybe he still hit the leg. There's a chance. No joy. Alright, he's open. But we just gonna keep him busy down there. Uh, yeah, LRM20. You know what we're gonna be doing now? We'll go in his back. I need to actually move away from him. You got it. Go for it? Here we go. That was not what enough. But go for a charge attack. Dealing 225 damage. <sighs> Got 60% though. Maybe it's better to do it like this. It yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna gamble on a single number. I'd rather have a lot of numbers that might destroy here. Alpha strike engage. Engine crit. No kill. Good hit there. Oh, it's your turn, Cyclone. Do it. Going for the Sleipnir, still being um, unevasive, I think. Right? Yeah. So the Sleipnir got hit twice. Once with the PPC, once with the Mesium, mesium Laser. That's what it is. A Mesium Laser. What can I do for you? Oh, but I think we got it in the end now. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna reserve. Turn 12. Kirby? Yeah, he was going for the laser attempt again. So Ariamaki needs to go so that we can shoot with the with the other thing. Uh, you know what? This is it. Hot load the LRMs and we go all in. And we still keep them. Good. Standing by. No, never mind. Misfire damaged. That's it. Cool, so now the only thing that we need to do is go and reinforce the fight with the urban mech, and then we can go home finally. Sprint it. I am not able to attack anything here. Question is why? I have mortars. Check the ground? Right here? Maybe? Go. Got it. Upper leg destroyed, hip destroyed. I'll take it. Ha! Send me a real opponent. 
Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Going in from the right side. Right here. Go kick. 47%. Uh, 44%. Uh, kick. Attack. Thank you. Got it. Come on. Get him down. Putting my weight into it. Finally. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. What? Inflicted some heavy damage. More than I actually wanted. But you know what? I'll take it. Cool. Nice mission. It was actually dangerous here. We almost lost the Galleon and maybe even the pilot in the Galleon. But we succeeded. Nobody got hurt. And we are actually in for good salvage. This urban mech alone. No, actually, I think we destroyed the howitzer completely. And the engine is gone. So we should probably check out the cyclones. MVP. Bang. With two kills. And that is it. You want... Four parts of a cyclone? I refuse. A 30 tonner. Hmm. So, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the A3P remains the Magna 150 fusion engine and Magna Mark II medium lasers, but replaces the remainder of the weapon's payload for Magna, Hellstar, PPC, and extra heatsink. So, it doesn't really say if it has any type of XL doubles or whatever. I do believe I want it. It's four parts. It's another mech. It's great salvage. It's great value, that is. Urban Mech's 100x. It runs a thumper artillery. It's not a howitzer. It runs a thumper. But again, I, I cannot take it. Let me see if there's anything crazy. An AC2 fire control system. It's nice if you're running AC2s. This is all primitive, sensor basic, primitive sensors. Yeah, these cyclones are the best ones that I could take. This is hands down the best salvage next to the urban mech. Uh, we, oh, we could also take an ultralight carrier. We could have a Mars. Let me check out the Mars. I don't think it's good, but it's not good. 20 damage and 6 area of effect. So it's not great. And only runs 5 salvos. And that's it then. See, it's, it's an ultra-light carrier. Not even a light, it's an ultra-light carrier. We are taking the Cyclones. Again, it's the best salvage we can get. Getting a cross-cut, one part at the very least. Uh, oh yeah, there was this chainsaw thing. Sadly, also destroyed. We get the ultra-light carrier anyway. <laughs> Game decides to, you know what, you're gonna take the Cyclone. I'm gonna give you an ultra-light carrier for free on top of it. Great, we get the Master, Mediums, the PPC, the Bike Control System, which I was actually eyeballing. Some jumps, some basic sensors, single heat sink cooling, and a standard engine. How many of those do we have? Four. Yeah, I don't mind having two more. It's fine. Cool. Okay, guys. I would say that has been it for today. We're gonna build the Cyclone in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, guys, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support what I'm doing here, the best way is on Patreon. Link is down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.